A mother and father from Yaguna have made an emotional plea for help to find their four young sons who are believed to be fighting alongside Islamic terrorists. The brothers, thought to be in Syria, have been missing for more than a month. A mother's anguish, her four sons lost to evil on the other side of the world. My babies, still my babies. I know. Isam and Basima Elbaf dropped their sons off at Sydney Airport last month thinking they'd won a holiday to Thailand. But led by the eldest Omar, the brothers flew onwards to Turkey, sending a chilling text message that they were joining the Islamic State in Syria. They vanished, you know. No clue, nothing. No answer. The youngest son, Taha, is just 17 years old and a promising rugby league player. He's very talented too, but I don't know what happened to him. Someone like to brainwash him or... I couldn't, I couldn't tell. Even his classmates at Birong Boys High School had no idea. There was no word, like he just disappeared out of nowhere. He's a good religious kid, like he respects his religion and everything, but I didn't see him as the type that would go to fight for something like that. There was a possible clue in the weeks before the boys left. Their second eldest son, Bilal, had been having meetings with a stranger in a car out the front of the family's home. Police investigating who may have recruited him. Because we need to exploit every angle to stop those young men being radicalised. The Elbaf family is still holding on to the hope that their sons may not yet have crossed the border into Syria. They're hoping that somebody sees this appeal and stops them before it's too late. Yeah, we're suffering and like uh, we're deeply like, uh, especially the wife, you know, she's very, very upset, you know, crying all day, you know, and she wants to get back, you know, she, and she's very desperate to see him, you know. Laura Tunstall, Nine News.